Hey guys, welcome back to Cook It in Joy Food. If you are new here, welcome. And please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can receive um, cooking videos every single week. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make one of my very favorite breakfast, which is pancakes. I really love eating pancakes. So, what we are going to need for this recipe is a teaspoon of vanilla essence or vanilla extract, a pinch of nutmeg, a pinch of cinnamon, if you don't have cinnamon or you don't have nutmeg, you can still continue with the recipe. And then we also need a quarter cup of sugar. You can choose to have more or less. A pinch of salt. A cup of milk. And a cup and a quarter cup of self-rising flour. We will also need three eggs and a mixing bowl, a whisk if you don't have a, you can also use an electric mixer. So today I'm going to use an electric mixer. If you don't have an electric mixer, you can use a whisk or you can also use a blender. All my ingredients aside. So what we are going to do first, I'm going to crack or put my eggs into the mixing bowl. Those are now three eggs. And after that, we are going now to whisk the eggs. to add milk now we're going to add this milk and then we're gonna mix again Combining the egg with the milk, now I'm going to add vanilla extract, a pinch of nutmeg, cinnamon, salt. sugar I'm also going to add flour I'm not going to put the whole bowl of flour I'm just going to put half of the flour first just going to put there And then I mix.
must mix for about one minute or just until you see that all your ingredients are well combined. I'm not going to add the other half of my flour, self-rising flour. I'm not done mixing. So you can see the, consi the consistency we are looking for is this one. So after mixing all your ingredients, you're now going to put your pan onto the stove and just heat it on medium. So right now I'm heating my pan. And I didn't put anything yet. So I just want I just want it to be warm and so that when I come and put my oil, I just put my um, pancake batter. My pan is now very warm, so I'm going to remove it from the stove and just put it aside. And what I'm going to do, I'm not going to grease it. If you have oil, you can just put your oil. You don't need to remove the to remove it from the stove. Now I'm just going to spray it with my cooking spray. You can use olive oil. You can also use um what? You can also use cooking oil, butter, all those nice things. And now I'm going to put it back onto the stove. Now I'm going to use my measuring cup to scoop the butter into the pan. Let me just get my bowl. And scoop a decent amount of the butter. And pull it starting from the middle. So a person may ask, how will I know if my pancake is cooked and it's ready to be flipped? So when it is done settling, you will see that it's not going, it's not spreading out anymore. And also when the bubble starts to form on top of the pancake, that's an indication that it is cooked and it's ready to be turned the other way around. So I'm just going to wait until bubbles form, then I'll be back. So that we can turn it now you can see that the pancakes have had has formed bubbles on top so it shows that it is now ready to be turned so i'm just going to turn it other way like that and also let it cook on this side so you know that the pancake is fully cooked if you you just flip it over again and check it then you can just put it into your serving dish so i'm going to wait like for approximately one minute it will be it should be ready in one minute because my heat is in medium try to be patient with a pancake and put your meat your your stove on medium heat and let it cook with time rather than putting it on high and burning it so i'll be back when it is ready to go now i'm checking if my pan cake is cooked you see it's not sticking into the pan so i'm just checking this one to check it's cooked on this side you can see it is cooked now I'm just going to remove it so now I'm going to remove it from the pan 
and put it into my serving dish. I'm having troubles removing it because I'm using my one hand. The other hand is with the camera, so okay. There we go. Just going to transfer it and take another scoop of this and just put it in there. So I'll be back when I'm done making all the pancakes. I'm now done making the pancakes you can see here they are all out of the pan so what you can do with the pancakes you can eat them with syrup you can also eat them with um, cheese you can just put cheese on top or honey or cream cheese and yeah you can eat it with different types of fillings and yes there you have it I hope all of you guys um, try this out comment down below how was your experience did you enjoy it and also I want to thank all of you guys who subscribed it really means a lot to me and for all that are still to subscribe please do that it's very simple and yeah don't forget to cook eat and enjoy your food see you in the next video Bye.